reptilians. There are essentially two types of reptilians. There's the space-faring reptilians. They literally fly around in spaceships. And then there are the what's been described as the inner terrestrials uh, that live within the Earth that are essentially native to this planet. They've been here as long as or longer than we have. And these beings have uh, developed over time an interdimensional capability. They are masters of frequency and resonance. They can alter their, des their density. The reptilians have attained control of the surface through a mastery of genetics, through control of the human gene pool, modifying the human race in general, in particular bloodlines in particular, to the point where they develop attributes, behaviors, and capabilities which advance the reptilian agenda on the surface. The reptilians come in a number of different shapes and sizes. Some are rather small, four to four and a half to five feet tall. More commonly, they're six feet tall and, and taller. Some as high as seven, seven and a half feet tall. They can be a number of colors, like dark green. Uh, they can be brownish, what's been described as pea soup green. There's a particular type of reptilian species we refer to as the yellow bellies. There are many reptile-type reptile species on the surface like crocodiles and alligators that have a tannish or a whitish underside. There are literally reptilians that have a whitish or a tannish underside. We call them yellow bellies. And these reptilians, over time, have developed the ability to, like I said, they can alter their, their density. 